Uh, thank, uh, thank the gentleman, and I, Mr. Uh, Hurd. I thank you for your leadership on this issue. He's such a valuable part of our team in making this happen. But to those that are in the federal government, uh, we got to up our game. Uh, I was elected the same time as President Obama was. Uh, it's starting in 2009. Uh, if you look at the expenditure on the IT budget, the federal government has spent more than $525 billion on IT, and it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And so I see that the president has a proposal. He needs another $3 billion, as if $525 billion wasn't enough. He needs $528 billion in order to actually solve these problems. I, I have a hard time believing that we're just three more billion away from actually solving this. I understand the predicament that we're in because as best I can see on a macro level, we're spending about 70 percent of our 80 plus billion dollars a year now on legacy systems. And it is difficult to, to say the least on making that transition from those legacy systems to newer, more progressive, more uh, secure networks. Um, and using the basic software. I, I got to review a document from the Department of Justice. It was on WordPerfect. WordPerfect was a great company back in 1990. Um, uh, they were a Utah company and, and a good product, but they still are using WordPerfect at the Department of Justice. And I'm sorry, with all due respect to Corel, it maybe is not the most up to speed and very difficult to share with others. And I just begs the question of why in the world we continue to, to have to teach people how to use COBOL, uh, how to, we have uh, some that I've heard are using punch cards still. I mean, it's unbelievable how far behind we are. And yet I don't think it's for a lack of funding. Um, it is just unexcusable for, in my mind, it's just inexcusable, I should say. Inexcusable that we need a patch and it takes 50 days to do it? 50, really? Come on. Patching a vulnerability should be priority one and should be done within the day. There is no excuse for waiting nearly two months to patch what is known as a vulnerability. At the Department of Education, it's something Mr. Osmond, I hope, would look at personally because the Inspector General was able to go into the Department of, uh, of Education and look at their, into their system, surf around for three days and come out undetected, despite their deploying Einstein, which begs the question of, I, I, with all due respect to the Inspector General, I, I'm guessing they're good, but they're probably not as good as the Russians, the Chinese, the, the others that uh, do this type of thing for a living. And so I do agree with Mr. Um, Hurd that one of the things we have to talk about is how to fight back. And attribution, just flat out acknowledgement um, and pointing the finger at who's doing what might be a form of deterrent. But I do think it's one of the big questions, we won't answer it today, but I do think it's a big question for those of us uh, in Congress how do you fire back? You know, if somebody fired a weapon at us, we could fire back at them. But if they're attacking us and, you know, online, how do we, how do we fight back? And I, I don't know the, the, the answer to that. But we need all of your help here today. Uh, we've got a lot on the line, a lot of personal information, a lot of vulnerabilities for the country itself. And so we thank you for your expertise and your commitment. Uh, we want to be part of the solution, not part of the problem, not just fire arrows, but we're supposed to be oversight, but then government reform. And we can, I think, help you solve these problems because this is the first time in the Congress we've actually had a subcommittee focused on just information technology. And, um, and so we're going to highlight the problems, but our next step is how do we solve those? And collectively, we, collectively, we need to come together in a bipartisan way and help you, help you accomplish that and achieve that. So that's the spirit in which we do this. I thank the gentleman. Thank you for the time. Yield back. Thank you, Chairman. And now, um, you know.